Hi Church, um, my name is Williams. I'm part of the team at Audacious South. I hope you are doing well. It is a privilege and honor to share in today's devotion. I'll be reading from the book of Acts chapter 12 from verse 5 through to 9. Let's go. The church went into a session of intense intersection, asking God to free him. The night before Herod planned to bring him to trial, he made sure that Peter was securely bound with two chains. Peter was sound asleep between two soldiers with additional guards stationed outside his cell door. When all at once an angel of the Lord appeared, filling his prison cell with a brilliant light, the angel struck Peter on the side to awaken him and said, Hurry up, let's go. Instantly the chains fell off his wrists. The angel told him, Get dressed, put on your sandals, bring your cloak and follow me. Verse 9, Peter quickly left the cell and followed the angel, even though he thought it was only a dream or a vision, for it seemed unreal. He couldn't believe it was really happening. I'll be speaking on the topic of my community. I experienced the power of my community recently. I've lived in my house for over six years, and there's this neighbor of mine that I've never met, but he, he lived adjacent to me, and he has a well, he had a well-maintained hedge around his house. So I was trying to trim my own edges. I was using a tool that was not very suitable for the tax that I was doing, when suddenly he came over to me and introduced himself introduced himself and um offered me a hedge master to use for my my tax i thought he was lending it to me initially i didn't want to accept it but out of courtesy i accepted it and it made a whole lot of difference in how i finished the work it was it was excellent for the tax and i was glad i accepted the gift one thing that is significant here is that my neighbor took a decision to walk over to me and said not on his watch will he allow me to to struggle on a tax when he can help it so the same thing applies here in the verse that we've read. Peter, the church was going an intense persecution. Herod had just killed James and because he pleased the Jews, he went after Peter and he was ready to make a public show of him. But Peter's community said enough is enough affliction will not arise the second time they went into a session of intense intercession praying asking god for one thing free peter and god honored that prayer one thing that is interesting here is that peter had a community of people that were praying for him interceding for him even when peter was sleeping his community were awake they had all night interceding for peter let me ask you today who is in your community who is interceding for you who is praying for you in your midnight hour who is standing there for you when you are going through a valley experience when you're going through a mountaintop experience, who is there celebrating with you? Audacious Church is a massive community and there's room on our table. You are welcome to this table. We don't want you to be alone. We don't want you to be lonely in church. We want you to be, we want to be part of your journey. There's enough room 
on our table. Would you accept the offer today? I could have refused the offer of the hedge master from my neighbor and I would have labored. I could even enjoy, enjoy myself. But I accepted it and it made a whole lot of difference. There are a lot of people, there are a lot of hands that are ready to hold you by, to walk with you, to do the journey of life with you. Would you accept the offer today? Think about it. There's a whole lot of uh, socials happening in the life of church in this summer season. If you check our website, there's one that is closest to you. You never know. You make a connection that is for life. You don't need to do the journey of life alone. Not on our watch. We want to be there with you. Experience the power of this community. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you.